Let's go. Another news segment from JQ from the JQ News Center on the JQ Show. My levels is good, just checking. All right, apparently the... Let's get into it. All right, apparently... Khalees and Bill Murray are not an item anymore. We reported on this. We were excited and weirded out. But the summer fling is over. Sorry, was just looking up the article. After a few months of getting to know each other, the age gap couple decided that they're better as friends. When we first heard about the new man in Khalees' life, we were shocked to say the least. Of course, many were happy to see the genre-blending artist getting back in the dating world after losing her husband to sudden battle with cancer. Oh, I didn't know that. That's crazy. Still finding out the 44-year-old's new man of choice was Bill Murray. We haven't seen much of the pair together since the rumors began circulating. Bills were spotted at some Khalees' live performances supporting her throughout the spring and summer months. According to the U.S. Sun, the chief was one who decided to pull the plug on her whirlwind romance. The chef. She's a chef? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> people are saying they were the... Yeah, whatever. It's all over the place, sorry. I still don't know why Nas married her, I'm gonna be honest. Done. Who just hopped in? Yay! They were they both had busy schedule and after a whirlwind romance decided to go their separate days. They remain friends, also plan to get on with their lives. Alright. Not yet, not yet. Calm down. Okay, Cardi B gives an album update. Because she's been releasing single after single. We don't get the album yet. We're waiting. The fans are waiting. To the follow-up of her smash international successful album. Cardi B massively successful debut album, Invasion of Privacy, was released five years ago. That's crazy. That is crazy. Time effing flies, yo and has yet to receive a follow-up. While she teased fans occasionally about releasing a follow-up, it's been a while since she really touched on the idea of a forthcoming project. That streak has been broken by a new interview in Vogue, Mexico. In the interview, she gives details on when fans can expect a new single from her and eventually a new album. There you go. I'm not going to release any more collaborations. I'm going to put out my next solo single. Right now, I'm working on the cover and art and ideas for the next record because it's definitely coming up, Cardi B explained. She further celebrated, collab, uh, elaborated on when the plans will be set in motion and clarified that once her new ever starts, it will unfold in a rapid fire fa fashion. Cool. So stay tuned because it's coming out very soon. She assures I have also have plans in the world of cinema. In fact, I have plans to do everything I can. Fashion, branding, I want to do it all. Uh, here's uh, the Vogue pictures. Vogue, Mexico. Never heard of it, really. Uh, yeah, so covers Vogue. Nice pictures. Very elegant and all that. And so some Soy naturalmente una persona con sabor. Back to her Latin roots. So let's see if she could come back with another international smash it album. The pressure's on. While Cardi hasn't released a new album in years, she hasn't been quiet. She's been on singles, like I said before. Back in July, Cardi teamed up with her husband, Offset for Jealousy. The song played into the public perception of the couple following many years in the limelight. All right, next up. Sad to share, man. Bob's gone, man. The Price is Right legend is gone, man. Sad news just came in.
legendary moment in um what's that called uh Billy Ma not Billy Madison uh Happy Gilmore That's some Emmy Award winning game show host Bob Walker who spent five decades on The Price is Right and Truth or Consequences has died at 99. It is with profound sadness that we announce the world's greatest MC who ever lived, Bob Walker, has left us. Publicist Roger Neal said in a statement on Saturday, Barker was cited in the Guinness World Records for his consecutive appearances hosting game shows and dialing out hundreds of millions of dollars in cash and prizes over the years before Alex Trebek surpassed them. Who is Alex Trebek? Heard that name before. So The Price is Right is the longest running game show in TV history for 35 years, retiring in June 20, 2007. Wow, it's been that long. Yeah, man, shout out. It's fam, him, and the legendariness of it. Because everybody, come on, if you grew up in the 90s, man, come on. Bob Walker, Bob Barker's. So epic. Um, and got some Britney Spears news. Apparently, she's getting divorced. And Sneakers. Okay, Britney Spears allegedly attacked husband Sam as Gary while he slept. Who knows if she did or not, but... Kind of weird Britney Spears is even on a hip hop site, to be honest. Don't worry, I'll beat the devil. I'll beat the devil, don't worry. Sam Asgarell is filing for divorce from Britney Spears this week, has been one of the most shocking pop culture relationship stories so far this year. Of course, there's a lot of gossip surrounding it, so reports at the time should come with a grain of salt. But the TZ report is allegedly close. A source is allegedly close to the couple, making damning claims that Spears physically attacked him during his sleep. <laughs> Yo, sh <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. They got married in 2018, like I reported last time, and. Uh, Meanwhile, these claims follow an argument that the couple had a w weeks ago when he accused her of cheating. Uh, he just mad he not getting nothing in the prenup. He's just mad he's not getting nothing in the prenup. She has a new... Anyways, trying my best, but the devil, you know, comes in hard sometimes. Britney Spears shares new message with her haters on Instagram since everybody's after her. <sighs> Spears took the Instagram with a message for those who criticize her. Everyone has been talking about Britney Spears' divorce from Sam the past two weeks. That includes many fans of Britney, but also many haters who certainly don't wish the best for her like we 
She kind of did the song with uh, Well I Am About It. The haters, mind your business, whatever. It's a good song though. Earlier today she shared a post on Instagram that showed her taking those haters head on. Half with me, I dare you. That caption reads, it's accompanied by an image of Britney in layers of black clothing standing in front of a white background. Like almost all of her recent posts, the comments are turned off, meaning fans haven't gotten the chance to respond to the declaration di directly. The post comes amidst a flurry of news stories that have completely taken over the narrative following her divorce. Some have been particularly concerning in the days following and inside to describe Britney's relationship with the rest of the family as isolated. Another report claimed that the singer's lawyer and manager were two of the only figures left in her inner circle following Sam. Despite the concern, many fans, spirits continue to share contact on her social media pages. And she still looks amazing. Hey, that's fire. That picture's fire, not gonna lie. So, pray for her. I mean, she is. I wanted to show everybody this. Come on, babe. <laughs> Yo, she wildin', G. I didn't even see this one. What? <laughs> Yo. Hey, could be. Anyways, let's keep it moving. So, if y'all haven't heard, Trump's arrested, mugshot going viral. But that's half of the nut. The first of all, I think it's a clone. But check out conspiracy news coming. Follow me on Instagram.com, Jonathan underscore Quest, SoundCloud.com, JK News with a K, and go get my album on Bandcamp.com. But his lawyer says it's the best time for him. Like, if you go, check it out. Like, if you go, Trump post, this gets crazy. He actually has a link to his donation page from his mugshot. It's, it's, it's insane. It's insane. He posts his mugshot on Twitter and then he has a link. <laughs> oh my lord. Can't make it up. You can't make it up. I'm gonna go, I'll show you. Donald J. Trump.com. Watch this. Look. Crazy, babe. It's a promotion. Living in a damn scripted reality. What the f is that? Are you kidding me? He looks possessed. First of all, that that's a crazy pose, and that he even they even said that was purposely done. No, purposely done to keep us distracted and think that's real. Is he still in jail? No. Come on, man. This world is crazy right now, G. I can't even deal with it, man. Donald Trump have having his mugshot released after his arrest on Thursday was probably one of the best things that ever happened to him, according to one of his legal representatives. The comment was made on a conservative news outlet, Newsmag, by Alina Abba, who as well as representing the former president and works as senior advisor to the pro-Trump Super Mac. Trump was arrested for the first time, fourth time, over allegations be broke. The law while attempting to overturn the 2020 presidential election result in Georgia. He has been indicted on 13 counts. There you go with that number again. What's no? But de denies any wrongdoing and described the case against him as election interference and a winch hunt on his truth social media website. In Georgia, Trump has mugshot taken, which was later released by authorities. As you can see, the devil has reappeared, but that's okay. 
which was later released by authorities and widely shared by his supporters and critics. Alike. On Friday, Abbas made several appearances on Newsmax during which he insisted the mugshot has boosted the former presidential, the president's 2024 presidential campaign. She commented, people aren't stupid. The mugshot was one of the best things that ever happened to him. A nine-second clip of the remark was shared on X, which posts footage of prominent events in U.S. politics, which rank up 230K views. Wow. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. And we'll, 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 we'll look at some memes after. Because they're funny, Jay. They're funny. Like, they're funny. I just like, you know, people don't allow you to work and do the right thing, but that's what happens when your mind is corrupted. And that's fine. And that's fine. Best things that ever happened to him, probably at this. People aren't stupid. The mugshot was probably one of the best things that ever happened yeah, to him, probably, probably at this mad point. Money. So, <laughs> thank Facts. you, Fanny. Some people aren't stupid. The Saudi mugshot fucking was rich probably get one of the money. best things. Yep. We totally forgot to mention the memes and show you. So, here's the original. That's creepy. I'm gonna save that for conspiracy news. But if you know, you know. This one's funny. The dude from uh, Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> Zoolander. Should the Trump be the official presidential portrait? Look at this photograph! <laughs> Distribution. <laughs> oh man. Damn, he shared that Trump. That's just weird, dude. <laughs> Facts, thug life, legendary. Yeah, that's remember Biden was doing the creepy kissing to the girls. All right, man, ended on that. Y'all chose them. Y'all reap what you sow, you feel me? Thank you, man. Conspiracy news later. <laughs> 